The Master's in Secondary Education with a concentration in teaching is designed to help those persons who already have an undergraduate degree obtain a teaching license. Now we've always done that at Kutztown. We've always been interested in second career persons, but this program utilizes Pennsylvania's accelerated degree option, and so within 18 months, you will have a master's degree and you will have a teaching license. In order for this to work, you need to demonstrate your content knowledge at the undergraduate level by passing the Praxis II. The areas that we can help you with are science, social studies, English, mathematics, and modern language. So once you've passed that Praxis II, we know you know the content. We'll help you with the pedagogical or the teaching, how to teach part of the program. And you will be working with a cohort group. So you'll take your courses with that cohort group and you will be student teaching with that cohort group. The first group of courses are offered in the fall. There are nine credits. Each of them is either in the evening or online. The second group is the following spring online or in the evening, and then the following fall is your student teaching experience. And the program is designed so that you really can maintain your position until that student teaching experience. The program requirements for the Master's in Secondary Education with a concentration in teaching include a 3.0 grade point average in your undergraduate program. Now the easiest thing, the most seamless way to do this is if your undergraduate program is one of the areas in which you want your license. For example, if you studied English as an undergraduate and you had a 3.0, we'll ask you to pass the Praxis II in that English content area. That demonstrates content knowledge. Often we have someone who has studied business and will come in and say, I want a certificate in mathematics. The state of Pennsylvania says that you must have a 3.0 grade point average in that area or related area. Business and mathematics are not closely enough related, and so we will prescribe to you a minimum of 12 credits that you'll need to take in the content area you're seeking. Another exception might be that you had a 2.4 as an undergraduate. Now you know you can do 3.0 work. Now you know that you can do higher quality work, but you don't have that record. And so again, we will require you to take a minimum of 12 credits in the content area and then obtain that 3.0. After you have the 3.0, after you've passed the Praxis II, after you have your criminal clearances, we'll welcome you into our program. The Master's in Secondary Education with a concentration in teaching is an accelerated program. It really is designed for those persons who have full-time jobs and are interested in becoming teachers. And so we've put the coursework into manageable chunks of, of time. During your first semester, that fall semester, with your cohort group, you'll be taking nine credits of classes. That's three individual classes. Each of those classes either meets in the evening for three hours, one night a week, or online. And so we fully expect that these are professionals who will work during the day, come to class at night. The classes will begin no earlier than 5 o'clock. Most of the professors start at 5.30, so it's 5.30 to 8.30 and, and that kind of commitment. During the winter session, that's only a three-week session, and so it is an online course, and you'll be expected to do work almost every day, but all of that is online. During the spring semester, we're back to that nine-credit commitment, three courses, either online or in the evening. In the summer, the summer between your coursework and your student teaching. In that summer, you will record your field experiences and you'll be working with an advisor to talk about those experiences. That is all done online. And then the big semester, the fall, is your student teaching experience. Our goal is to have your student teach in a building with your cohort group so that you can meet with that cohort group at least one night a week, share experiences, support one another. That is a full-time commitment. Generally, teaching candidates embrace that semester because that is when they get to work with learners. That is when they finally earn their certificate. At the end of that semester, and that is a 15-week student teaching 
commitment. At the end of that semester, you will have earned your teaching license. That's a 7 through 12 license in most programs. That's grades 7 through 12 in the modern language, grades K through 12. And in addition to your teaching license, you will have earned a master's degree. The state of Pennsylvania requires 190 hours in the field prior to student teaching. At Kutztown University, we think that's a wonderful idea. Students should have many hours in the field before they actually lead a classroom. We particularly feel that students need to have experiences in urban schools and with diverse learners. And so we have many options for our teaching candidates prior to student teaching. Some of those experiences include observing and then moving to working with students, perhaps tutoring, helping with homework, to actually leading the classroom. When those 190 hours have been accomplished, you'll work with your advisor to talk about those hours, record those hours, and then you'll be ready to student teach, and that's total immersion in the classroom. Well, the good news in Pennsylvania is that once you have your initial license, you can add additional licenses by passing Praxis tests. That makes you more marketable. We really encourage our students to do that. We want them to be marketable. We want to work with teachers who are passionate about their content and passionate about teaching. We really believe that the accelerated program will be bring in professionals from all different walks of life who will strengthen the teaching profession. We love teaching. We embrace teaching. We want good classrooms. We owe it to our students to provide the best teachers for the classrooms. And that's what this program is all about.